Hi, everybody. I'm Barb Klinger. I'm the current chair of the program committee for the 2013 Chicago Conference. And I'm also president-elect of the Society for Cinema and Media Studies. I teach film and other media at Indiana University in the Department of Communication and Culture. I'll become president in, on July 1st of 2013. Right now, I'm still in training, I guess you could say. And um, once I assume the presidency, I will um, continue with business that my, my predecessors have begun, including something called our strategic plan, where we're reorganizing and rethinking our structure for clarity's sake. And I'll also be involved in hiring an executive director, um, someone who will be firmly planted in the organization in such a way as to be a kind of central um, figure for a lot of the business that we do. So that's one of the things we'll be moving forward on in, in the two years that I'm president. But also while I'm president, I want to um, use the resources, the plentiful resources that are provided by the board members and allow them to brainstorm and think of really interesting directions for us to go in. And so I'd like to um, introduce Heidi Wasson, who is a, a board member who just um, came on last year. And, and this is something that she and I, it's an idea she and I have been talking about. It's an idea she came up with and I think is lovely. And I would like, you know, give her an opportunity to talk about it. Thanks, Barb. Um, so I'm Heidi Wasson. Uh, I'm a professor of cinema at Concordia University of Montreal. I am a member at large on the SMS Executive Board, or as Barb likes to joke, a very large member. I'm very pleased to be able to serve uh, on the SMS Executive. It's an incredible group of people, and they perform incredible service by making it possible for all of us to come together once a year to talk, to disagree, to laugh, uh, and to further our research. And so uh, it's a really great honor. So Barb and I have been talking a lot about uh, the importance of the history of the organization, but also the history of our field, which dovetails nicely with my own work. Um, and this is a conversation that started many years ago between me and Lee Grieveson and thereafter Mike Zarid and some other people uh, in Montreal and now with Barb about how important it would be to capture some of uh, the oral histories of our membership. Um, and so what we're hoping to do is launch something called the SCMS Oral History Project where we interview members and talk about the early days of teaching cinema, uh, writing about cinema, researching cinema, in the hopes that we can capture some of the things that get lost often in official histories and in scholarly histories. Um, and hopefully that will start a dialogue just, not just about what was uh, and how various people navigated their careers and uh, worked their way through the world of ideas and so on, but also generate a dialogue about how that past relates to where we're headed, what our future is as scholars and as researchers. And part of this fits in very nicely with what happened at the 50th anniversary of the SCMS in Los Angeles where they interviewed past presidents and created this slideshow um, and with talking heads about what went possible, um, about what had happened in the organization since its inception. And so providing that sense of an oral history, um, not just of people who've had major positions in the organization, but also our membership. And to use that at, and, and to make that part of our website as a, as a kind of moving history, I guess you could call it. And it also made us um, re remember how important it is to have that history, not only of the past, but of the present and the future, and to try to make that part of the organization's mission. So if anybody out there would like to participate, Barb and I are officially inviting you. Uh, to submit your ideas for oral histories for the field of film and media studies. And uh, we'll take anything you have to say or offer on that.